Hi everyone and welcome to Endless Legend. So, Endless Legend just got a new expansion, Inferno, and since I haven't played Endless Legend in quite a long time, I figured why not check it out. That's exactly what we're going to do. And the new faction is Kapako. They are basically a volcanic race. So, they are born of ash, they can only see, gather and use food on volcanic terrain, their armies have health region on volcanic terrain, and their units and heroes gain bonus stats on volcanic terrain. They got shaman's knowledge, so during eclipses Kapaku shamans can locate confluxes in their own and explore the neighboring regions and enjoy increased effects from these confluxes. They are stargazers. In summer upcoming dust eclipses are always predicted. They can get a golem camp. Era 2 to unlock. Units can be garrisoned at the camp, plus one bonus population on a city, only one per city. Geomancer is their support unit, with inner fire, free range, geomancy and slowdown. Stone Sentinel is their infantry unit, with infantry slayer 2, inner fire and disease immunity. Then they also start with geomic clubs unlocked plus 2 science on terrain with science, and minus 1 dust from city upkeep. They got their own main quest. Endless fascination, science received on successful ruin search, plus 2 science on terrain with ruins, that's their trade faction. Volcano formation, that's another trade faction. Units have a special army action allowing the use of volcano forming device. Alright, so sounds like they can spread volcanic terrain. They can also get Siege Engineering in Era 3. Provides an industry stockpile generated by dealing siege damage to enemy fortifications. Display a siege damage counter in the Empire Management screen. Sounds interesting. Golem Rider is their cavalry unit with Inner Fire, Charge 1, Fast 1, Circular Attack and Sweep Strike Back 2. And they also start with Alchemist's Furnace Unlocked. That's for Titanium Extractor and Glass Steel Extractor. Alright then, so here we can see all their units. Settler, Stone Sentinel, Geomancer and Golem Rider. Alright then, so that's what we're going to play as. Hard difficulty will be just fine. Normal game speed is also fine. Normal world size, Pangea map, regular continent shape. We could change that. Chaotic, internal seas, highly deformed continent shapes and a great deal of randomness in attitudes. Distances between continents as well as their sizes can vary greatly. I think regular will be just fine. Maybe disturbed. There will be internal seas, more random variations and irregular continent shapes. Continents may be disproportionately sized and of varying distances from each other. Let's go with Disturbed, why not? Temperate, average topography and normal world difficulty. Alright then, sounds good to me. Let's get started. I'll leave AIs on random. There are actually a few factions I haven't seen. Our world was a paradise of ash and fire until the gods brought their doom upon us. Even with our golems, our ingenuity, we were no match for their power. Broken and scattered, we would have perished if not for our saviors. They brought us to this world gave us a new purpose. Alright then, they clearly have a very different definition of paradise. 
I hope I can remember how to play Endless Legend, it's been a really long time since I last played. So first we'll have to found our first city. Let's display the yields. Here we go. So anything interesting around here? Black Earth Anomaly, nice. That's a lot of food from one tile, plus six from Black Earth. Yeah, we should probably settle right next to that tile. And what do we have here? Unspoiled ruins? Right, we will be getting more science from ruins. So we could start right next to the ruin. Not a bad idea. I'll probably do that. So how about we start the city right in the middle? Right here. That seems reasonable. Yeah, it sounds good to me. Right here, on this tile. We'll get the Black Earth immediately, and we'll be able to get the ruins as well. With the science bonus. Okay, sounds good to me. So, like this. We'll miss out on one tile, but that's okay. That's a pretty decent start. Alright, now we can split these guys and send them in the opposite directions. So, one west and one east or so. And we should search the ruin, obviously. We found nothing of interest. Alright then, if you say so. So, we should also assign a hero. Now, we can either assign him to an army or we can assign him as a governor. I think I'm going to ask him as a governor first. A hero can be quite useful too, but let's use him as a governor to jumpstart our city. So we also start with the extractor tech, meaning we can build the glass steel extractor and titanium extractor right away if we want to. But first we're going to build Founder's Memorial, that will give us some extra yields and it's best used when built as early as possible. We can move the population around, we'll keep it on food to make the city grow a little bit. Faction introduction. The Kapako can only get their food from volcanic terrain, yet they can also rely on their volcano former machines to change any terrain into a volcanic one. Alright. Sounds promising. So, we should also pick our research. Let's take a look. What do we want first? Well, we could get the tech that will help ruin exploration. This one, search party. We could also pick up language square. This will help with minor factions. Yeah, let's get search party because we'll be searching a lot of ruins. It makes sense to get that first. Alright then, let's see if there are any other regions with volcanic terrain nearby. New quest added. Arrival. Alright then. Objective. The volcano formation machines are powered by strategic resources. Make sure you have 5 units of any single strategic resource stockpiled while ending the turn. Okay, well, that's easy. We can work on that soon. But first we'll finish the Founder's Memorial. And we found the first minor faction. That's the one in our region. Okay then. Plus 5% initiative per pacified and rebuilt Nidia village on units. So initiative bonus and a flying unit. Doesn't seem too bad. Alright then. Oh no, that's not in our region. Okay. Fair enough. So you can still move. Check out the ruin, obviously. And there's a ruin over there to the northeast. We got 40 dust and 10 science. Yeah, this right here is a ruin. We should check that out as well. And we can turn off the yields now. Looks better without. Don't need them to be on permanently. So check out that ruin over there. Anything good? New objective. Oh yeah, we got a quest. Delusion of Grandeur. Produce 40 industry in one of your cities for 10 turns. And the reward is 15 influence. That shouldn't be very hard. 
but we'll need some extra population first. All right then. We can research the tech that will give us whatever the production building was called. This one, yeah, the mill foundry. We probably want that early on anyway. All right then. This is still one region right here, our home region. There's search party. And now we can research mill foundry. Yep, we are going to need production, obviously. Search, 30 dust and 10 science, all right then. And we got the minor faction, that's the one in our initial region. So, plus 5% influence per pacified and rebuilt village. Yeah, that's not too bad, we will need influence. And a demon flying unit. Chain lightning, slow, fly, flame walker, ash breather, sweep strike back. Okay then. Well then, I'll probably research language square after the meal foundry. Yep. So, let's move on. We got plus one population. So we can move on guy to production if we want to. That will slow down the city growth by two turns. But it will increase our production by four. Oh, it won't actually speed up the founder's memorial. It will be done on the next turn regardless. Okay. Fine by me. So how about we start accumulating the strategic resources? Yeah, let's build the extractor right away. So, glass steel extractor, that will take five turns. Sounds good to me. And we got another minor faction, Delverts. Plus 5% dust per pacified and rebuilt village and dredge infantry. Alright then. Carry on. Not a whole lot of volcanic terrain around us. There's the Founder's Memorial. Is this a dead end? No, it's not. Alright then. Another ruin. It's easier to see them when zooming out. Yeah, there's a ruin down here. But hold on, is this a volcanic region? No, it's not. Just rocky, not volcanic. Alright then. Looks like we'll have to do some terraforming early on. And we need strategic resources for that. Apparently. Search. New quest. In order to do this correctly, you must first be in control of the region. Colonize the region. Alright. Well, that will have to wait a little bit, I'm afraid. And another minor faction, boss. Plus 5% food per pacified village and centaur cavalry. Alright then. Here's another ruin. And oh, I remember these guys, eyeless ones. These guys can heal. It's a pretty damn good support unit. We'll probably want them. And also plus 5 morale per pacified village. Yeah, we'll definitely want these guys in the future. So, search. 10 die and 10 science. Alright then. Sunken ruins. Interesting. Research is done, now we can build mill foundry. Might be able to pay to speed it up. Where is it? Right here. First, let's finish the extractor. How much to speed it up? 50 dust. Uh, let's maybe keep our dust for now. And the next research should probably be language square. Yep. Alright then. Then we can get quests from minor factions. To pacify them, hopefully. 5 titanium, 15 science, good. And another minor faction, I don't remember this one. Plus 0 0.5 resource per pacified and rebuilt village. On the luxury resource extractor. And Bordeki Cavalry. Crippling Charge, Cavalry Slayer, and Charge. Alright. Grab the ruin. Come on. What did we get? A new quest added. 
build the Jomi clubs in one of your cities and scientific knowledge will grow. Reward advanced alloys. Oh, nice. Well, we'll want to build that anyway. So that's basically a tech for free. Yep. So, two turns to finish the extractor and we'll need 10 of any strategic resource. Quest updated. We must begin to make this world more hospitable for the Kapako. Volcano form 10 tiles. Reward is 80 dust and 15 die. Alright then. Oh yeah, we got 15 glass steel as a reward. So now we can use that to create a volcano former. Yep, sounds good to me. How exactly does that work then? Well, I guess we'll find out. Let's keep moving. Oh, there's one more ruin over there to the east. Okay then, and what's this? That's also a ruin? Uh, no, that's the minor faction. Right. This is also the minor faction. Right, okay. Let's keep moving. Oh, that's a volcanic... Wait, that's not a volcanic region. That's Badlands. No, this is a volcanic region. We will be getting food from that. It's easier to see when turning on the yields. Here, because we only get food from volcanic terrain. So this region is also volcanic. Eight science! Nice. Yeah, that's an anomaly with plus six science, and then plus one from terrain with rocks, and plus one from rocky field. Okay, so... We got options. Carry on. One turn. Here, we got the extractor. And we can pop this again. Create a volcano former. How exactly does that work? I'm not entirely sure just yet. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how exactly that works. Let's keep moving. So, this way. And there's a ruin, right here. We got 30 dust and 10 science. Okay. And another minor faction. Plus 5% building production cost reduction per pacified village. And rumbler infantry. Beam and sweep strike back. Okay then. So, two turns to finish language square. Then we'll see if we can pacify any minor factions. And this would be a good moment to maybe spend the dust to rush the mill foundry. Yep. And then either get started on a settler or get the Geomi clubs to finish that quest we got. Yep, sounds good to me. Looks like that's as far north as we can go. Okay. Here's another ruin. Search, and that's a dead end. A new quest added, a relic of the past. Within five turns, search for a relic at the temple ruins, illuminated by rays of dust, right here. Well, that's literally right next to us. Won't be a problem. There's language square, very nice. And there's the mill foundry. So, let's check research. We could unlock the Geomancer. That's one option. We could also get cultivation. For more food to make our city grow faster. I don't think we need luxury extractors just yet. So, that can wait. I don't think we need morale just yet either. So, sewer system can also wait. We should get public library though. Right, let's get that. That is quite nice for science. Looks like we need to go back south. Alright, fine by me. Search. Reward, break wall. Alright then. We can equip that on a hero. 
Except we are using our only hero as a governor right now, but we can change that anytime we want. Alright then. We can still search the ruin. New quest added. Master of Luxury. Build two extractors exploiting one or more of the following luxuries. Dye, emerald, gold, spice, wine. And the reward will be augmented extractor. Now, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that. We'll need the proper luxuries around here. There's the die, so we can get that. Another die. So it should work with two die extractors. It didn't say two different ones. Yeah, just build two extractors, exploiting one or more. Okay, so we can do it. We'll just have to terraform this region right here. Because this one is not volcanic. Alright. So, how does this terraforming thing work? I'm still a little bit confused about that. Enables your armies to transform tiles of any terrain type into volcanic terrain. Okay. So, hold on. Here, volcano form. Right, so we have four volcano former. Now we can actually place it somewhere. Alright, makes sense. So I'm thinking we should terraform this region right here. With the dice. Since we'll need that one to finish the quest. That's the only luxury I can see. From the ones we actually need for the quest. Okay, well, sounds good to me. I mean, we'll want to colonize that region anyway. So, also, we should have a talk with the minor factions, especially the ones we want to pacify. So, the eyeless ones in particular. I think that was the one. So, parlay. Let's see, bring back 8 titanium. Uh, that was not the eyeless ones, but this will be easy. 8 titanium is not a problem at all. We just need the titanium extractor, which we can build right here. Okay then. I might just chill in this general area to wait to finish the quest. That one will be very easy to do. Okay then. So before we leave, let's have a chat with these guys. Return to the village when you are ready to give them 50 dust. Yeah, sure, I can give them 50 dust. That's fine. So there we go. You please the Dorgeshi who told you what you actually need to do. Oh, with a hero-led army, find and talk to the other Dorgeshi village located in the same region. We can do that. Just need to assign hero to this army. Not a problem whatsoever. There you go. Okay then. So how about... No, we can't give him the break wall yet. We need 6 titanium to do that. Alright. Fair enough. So which one exactly are we supposed to talk to? One of the other two. We got geomic labs. And quest completed. Build geomic labs. Our reward is advanced alloys technology. That unlocks tier 1 weapons made of titanium or glass steel. Very nice. Uh, so, hold on. Which one are we supposed to talk to? Any? Talk to the other village located in the same region. So, sounds like any village. We just need a hero-led army. It's not much of an army. Imminent Empire plan. Not sure if we'll have enough influence for that. I guess we'll see. We probably won't, actually. Alright. So, I think we'll finish the titanium extractor and then get a settler. It's about time we started settling more regions. Okay, sounds good. And we can start terraforming. I'm just waiting to get the titanium to finish the quest. But we don't have to go very far. Next. Population evolution. Let's check the assignments. 
Yeah, I think it's time to move at least one of these guys to production. 11 turns. 14. Okay, one guy to production and three on food. And we should probably get one of the food techs. Alright, so let's place the volcano former. So, I'm not sure what the radius of this thing is. Just one tile? Seems to be just one tile, as far as I can tell. So, hold on, where exactly do we want to place it? Close to the anomalies, I would say. That's an anomaly. Okay, anything else? Just turn on the yields. Six production. Mineral reach anomaly. Oh, that's nice. Right, well, let's place it here. Oh, and now we have to wait five turns. Okay, I see. Good to know. Wait, why can we not talk with them? Is it supposed to be the other one? Yeah, it's supposed to be the other one. Okay, sure. We'll go there then. Off you go. Also, might be a good idea to increase our dust income, but we can't do everything all at the same time. Here, parlay. And that should pacify them, I think. Here, okay, reward pacification. Nice one. All villages in this region will be pacified. So that's our first pacified faction. And we got a hero level up. I might keep this guy as a general now. Well, not sure about that. Let's check his skill tree. Attack on units. Bonus for search. Plus science on volcanic terrain. Okay. Plus 10% science on the city, plus 10%, plus 15%. That is pretty nice. Alright. More experience per turn on units. Yeah, that would be quite useful. Let's keep him as a general. Especially since quite a few quests require a hero-led army. From what I remember. So... We'll get started on this part. Okay, sounds good to me. Here you go. And let's move back in this direction. We just need, what, 8 titanium, I think it was? We can check. I think it was 8. Which one was it? Yeah, bring back 8 titanium. That shouldn't take too long. Well, 4 more turns, exactly. Unused resource booster. Oh yeah, right. Uh, hold on. What does that one actually give us? Plus 50% influence on the cities. We don't really need that right now. Let's not waste it. I think this would be a waste right now. Uh, which screen is that on? Yeah, right here. That would be a waste right now, because we don't have any influence bonuses. We'll wait. So, how's that settler coming along? Three more turns. Alright, and then we'll need to increase our dust income. Yeah, we can get Empire Mint once we finish Public Library. Sounds good to me. And then one of the food improvements. Since we'll need more food. Arrival of a dust eclipse. So, how does that work? Eclipse effects. Dust blizzards blow over Origa. Strange dust activity on Tempo ruins. Dust confluxes emanate from the land, granting experience and temporary boost to armies collecting them. Shaman's knowledge. During eclipses, Kapaku shamans can locate confluxes in their own and explore the neighboring regions and enjoy increased effects. Okay then, that looks fancy. 
Dust Blizzard, Dust Blizzard. Interesting. Empowering Conflux, right here. Effects, plus 50% attack. That's not bad at all. Are they all the same? No, they are not all the same. Plus 6 movement, plus 50% initiative. Alright. Here's another one. Minus 60% upkeep on the unit, plus 50% health regen. These are pretty powerful effects, I have to say. I like that. Here's another one. Does the empowering conflux again, plus 50% attack. We can grab that. So we need three more titanium. It will be done soon. Alright, next. And I suppose we can place a terraformer right here in this region. I mean, we will colonize it sooner or later. Maybe. However, that's going to be the end of the first episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about Endless Legend Inferno so far. And leave a like if you enjoyed the first episode, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.